Hi, I'm Zen Nayani and I'm the founder and CEO of ZN Advisory. Today we'll be talking about project management and how we can be agile, flexible, and uh, use an adaptive approach when it comes to project management. Communication needs to happen when uh, a plan has to be changed, basically. Yeah. Okay. Well, one thing I'll start with is there is no way we can say communication is enough. Right. So there's no over or no under uh, communication kind of thing. It's like the more you do, the better it is. Um, the structure certainly helps. Right. Uh, giving it a, a bit of a structure. But now when, when a plan changes again, what type of communication needs to happen? I guess you have to decide um, whose plan is being changed. Right. Um, you have to answer what type of plan it is. Right. Is, I mean, it also depends on, is it a, a, a thousand dollar project? Is it a hundred thousand dollar project? Is it a million dollar project or 10 million? Like it just changes, right? All of a sudden there's more people invested in the in, in, in that equation as the number kind of grows uh, uh, towards the 10 million mark and more, right? So looking at it from that lens and deciding, okay, well, who are the key stakeholder groups, key, key users, who are, who are the ultimate beneficiaries of this, um, you know, this, this project, right? Um, making sure that you identify them first and foremost, right? Because without that, well, communication is a two-way street, right? It doesn't work. Um, so understanding who this project is relevant to, identify, step one. Then, well, identifying is not enough. You got to you got to engage, you got to talk to them, right? You got to talk to them to understand what are the better, what are the best ways for them to communicate. It doesn't matter what you know or how you communicate. It doesn't matter at all, right? Maybe virtual don't work for them. You know, maybe emails don't work for them. Maybe they just write handwritten notes. Maybe they just talk, right? So there's so many factors. So without really understanding them, talking to them, knowing them, um, you can't possibly know, right? Um, but the idea is, well, if there's a plan being changed, this is the user who's going to uh, benefit most from this particular project. Well, let's talk to them um, about what type of uh, communication method they prefer and then use that system to communicate, provide updates to them about whatever related to the project. If it's a change, you know, again, doesn't matter if it's a thousand dollar project or a $10 million project, change is a change. Ultimate user of or beneficiary of a project must know, um, you know, about that change um, in the way they want to be notified. And, um, you know, that's, that should take care of it. Um, that's how you would notify chain and provide an opportunity to you know have a conversation have a conversation about the change yes why that change is important and you know as a as a as a project manager who's kind of you know managing a whole bunch of different things in a project well it's your job to convince them or not get the direction of which where where we where we where we need to go right ask the right questions make your recommendations and then you know take the project in that direction notify by notifying the person or the entity or the group again depending on the size um, of the project about the chain and then getting their direction and taking that direction that's what the role of a project manager is right uh, if you've got any questions uh, comments or concerns about what what i've said um, in these videos, feel free to reach us out at zenadvisory.com.